Hey guys, here at osmvdxreviews.com. Today giving our, our very special unboxing of the Celeron Magic Cube. This is a laser projection keyboard that's also called a virtual keyboard that hooks, hooks up to any Android or iOS powered uh, computer or you can also hook it up to a Mac or a PC with Windows. Um, and it just uses Bluetooth connection to make that uh, operation wireless. You can also connect it via a USB if you want to do that. So again, it uses this uh, pretty cool red projection laser uh, and that projects a keyboard on any surface and then you can type on it and using infrared sensing it will recognize those touches and input it into your device's screen. It also has a, a doubles as a multi-touch enabled touchpad which is very very cool and again it projects a full-size keyboard. And now this is pretty expensive uh, especially since you get a full-size keyboard in this super small package and the entire concept itself is like something out of a Star Trek or Tron legacy movie and for this advanced cutting-edge technology combined with Bluetooth everything in this super small package this is it. That's all it is uh, it's gonna cost you $199.99 so $200 is it worth it it is very very expensive uh, well let's show you the box right now in terms of packaging, things are pretty simplistic, and you just get a little bit of a glimpse of the product itself. It says Celeron. You can take a look at the on-off switches, uh, where how to charge it, and you can also see it's made entirely out of metal on the sides. It says Bluetooth on the back. There's the sensors for the cameras and uh, everything else considered. Um, in terms of the packaging, it just says Magic Cube. Celeron has made different models of, of these projection laser keyboards in the past. They haven't really caught on. I'm pretty surprised at this. Uh, a lot of people still think this is something out of science fiction or fantasy uh, movie or novel, when in reality, it's been out here for a few years already. They've made it for PDAs and pocket PCs way back, five, six years ago. So the technology was around even back then. This is just the latest model. Uh, what's in the box? You have the Magic Cube, the USB cable, a quick start guide, and the user's manual. And you can use it on any flat, opaque surface. Uh, there's your strap loop, your power. This is blocking this is computer solution. Um, sorry for that. It works with Android 2.0 and higher. iOS 4, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPad, iPad 2, and later. Windows Phone 7 series. Uh, it works with uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. Probably works with Windows 8. Haven't been, uh, haven't checked that yet. And also Mac OS X. And there you go. Bluetooth and USB. There's some um, stuff in the back. It's 2011. So we just slide it out, I guess. Uh, and um, there you go. Revolution of a portable keyboard is what it says. It's made in China. Okay, so there you go. We have the box. It's made out of a very nice plasticky material. Let's zoom out and show you. It has Magic Cube embedded on the front. Very good packaging. It looks like it's recyclable as well, which is always nice. And it has a lid, which you can take out like that. And in two compartments, and one with the keyboard, and the other one, we have the accessories like the charger and other stuff. And this is the other part of this box. Let's see, how exactly are we supposed to take this part out? Uh, it just slides out like that, I guess. So the box is just plastic, and you can keep it to store the Celeron Magic Cube when you're traveling, because it's pretty durable, looks pretty nice. And again, the rubber grippers were just holding this thing into place like so. So that was all, all it was. So there you go, this is the product itself. We can set, a, set that aside and actually take a look at what's included in this little box. So this Magic Cube. And here we have the USB cable, it looks like. And also the charger, uh, which also this charger, and also the user's manual. So there we go. The first thing that we have is a little booklet that tells us it's quick tips for a better typing experience, um, how to elevate the keyboard in order to make it better for your wrists to type on, and then how to connect it to your iPad or tablet to type on. Look at the keyboard to make sure you're hitting the right keys, peck on it first, and then start using more fingers. Adding sensitivity, you can adjust the sensitivity uh, very easily using the laser keys and diodes, um, and just some Quick start, this is just a quick start guide to show you the basic features. This is a more in-depth user's manual, and this is a warranty, I guess, or something. Uh, copyright 2012. You can see that this has a lot of different specifications and certifications on here because it contains a ton of merging emerging technologies that's in this very small package, again, so... If you want to, you can read through this, and uh, it's probably going to pre be pretty simple to operate, I imagine, but if it's difficult, we'll find out along the way. It's how to Android, how to use Android to set it up, stuff like that. This is adding sensitivity, note for Android device users to check out a tutorial online. 
As far as the USB goes, it is just charging through the uh, mini USB 2.0. This is a standard port, which is very good. It isn't a proprietary charger, but there's not a wall socket adapter included in the box, which is slightly disappointing for something that costs $200. You just have a pretty cheap USB cable that's just mini USB 2.0. So very generic. Um, if you have something laying around, you can probably use it. You don't have to use this cable in particular. But there you go, it's, if you want it, it's there. Let's take a look at the device now. Again, it's made out of entirely made out of metal and um, on the sides. Actually, only the two sides here are metal and the top part, the silver parts up here are actually made entirely out of plastic, so I'm mistaken. Uh, it feels very lightweight. Of course, with this product, you have the full advantage of a keyboard within the palm of your hand. So if you, you can easily slide it into a backpack or pants pocket and then you can start typing with your tablet in a much more enjoyable uh, manner and way. And also, it's an absolute conversation starter. So whenever you bring it with you with your friends and family, you can show them and they'll be impressed for sure because, again, not many people even know something like this exists out there, let alone it actually works. Um, but again, it's a quite expensive price tag to pay. It kind of looks like a piece of modern art you can probably display somewhere as well. Again, very tiny, very small. Projection keyboard Bluetooth is on one side, nothing on the top. On the side here, it looks like we have, yes, a lanyard port, so you can probably hook this up to a keychain and you know, tie it to your backpack or something like that. And it's repeated on the other side. In the back, you just have some laser information for don't shine it in your eyes or anything like that. Uh, some FC, uh, CE uh, certifications on the front. Again, that's your IR camera. You have your laser projector, and then you have some indicators to notify you when the battery is getting low. It uses a chargeable lithium iron rechargeable battery, and also an LED for when you're connected using Bluetooth, and there's just a little sensor down there as well. Again, the front edge here is made out of a tempered glass finish, which is very good because it feels really nice in the hand, but it's an absolute fingerprint magnet, so you know after you start touching it, again, you can see there's a lot of smudges on it and fingerprints already. On the back, it's made entirely out of plastic. We have an on-off switch that you can access a reset hole and also a USB port. It has a very cool font. You can see USB. You can probably pry it open, and there you go. This is uh, HID or SP, uh, SPP. I guess that's changing the settings for the laser or also changing it between Bluetooth and using the included wire to connect it to your PC or Mac. So pretty interesting capabilities there. Uh, anyways, this is a really exciting product. We can't wait to get in the labs and start testing it, but that's just been an unboxing the Magic Cube projection wireless keyboard uh, here at osnvtxreviews.com. Thanks for watching.